Okay, so welcome to the fourth project for Access 2019. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File and Save As. And we're going to change it from an underscore 1 to an underscore 2, forcing them to grade. Okay, so I don't have the instructions printed, so I've just got the screen split right now. I'll probably just maximize this one and pop this one up when I need it. It's a lot easier to be able to have a full screen with access so that you can see all of the tools. So Competitive Swim Clubs Inc. is, oh, step one, we'll start off, um, is a national chain of swim clubs. <clears throat> Where is this to? There we go. I'm clicking it. targeted to youth and adults who are or who want to be competitive swimmers. You are the regional managers for clubs located in southeastern United States. Create a query for the members table that includes the member ID, first name, last name, club ID fields for all the members that belong to the club with a club ID of CO2. Save the query using CO2 members as the query name. Okay, so we need to create a query based off of the members table. So I'm going to click on the members table. I'm going to click Create and Query Design. Members is already selected here because I have it selected over here, but I'm going to have to double click on it to bring it over to my query. Now I need to include the member ID. I'll double click. You can also click Hold and drag it down. That's another way you can do it. I like to do the double click. First name, last name, club ID. Um, for all members that belong to the club with a club ID of CO2. So I'm going to go to the criteria for s club ID and go C02. Be careful that that says a zero and not a, a capital O. Save the query using CO2 members as a query name. So we go run and it returned only the club ID um, of C02. So if you did type in CO2 and you don't get any records back, that might be what the issue is. So now I'm going to save it, C02, make sure you put 02 in the name here or it will mark you wrong. Okay. Alrighty. Step two, open the total fees query and add, and add a calculated field that sums the registration field values and the annual field values, assign the alias total fees to the calculated field. So we did this one in the last one. We created a calculated field. So we are going to go to the last field. We're going to go right click and we're going to go to zoom. And in here we are going to use the total fees alias. And then we are going to add registration. and an annual fee. Okay. All right, when I run it, I get total fees. So the addition of these two right here. Perfect. So I didn't save it that time and it popped up and asked me if I wanted to save it. So it's kind of like if you're closing down a Word document and you haven't saved your last changes, it will ask you if you want to save it. Step three, create a parameter query for the members table that will allow the user to enter a different state each time the query is run. The user should see all fields in the query result. Use enter desired state as the input prompt. Save the query using member states as the query name. So we're gonna create a parameter query for the members table. So I'm gonna choose members again. Create, create design. I'm gonna choose, double click. Um, different state. So I'm looking for state and I want to put in the criteria. Remember we need to use the square brackets for the parameters. Enter desired oopsies, state. And I'm going to run it and it's going to ask me what state I want to put in, which means it worked out perfect. Enter the parameter value. And I'm going to right click and save that as member states. 
So be very careful when you're saving things, you make it the right name or you didn't leave out a space or you added a space where we weren't supposed to. Most times with access, that's mostly what happens with students. They, their marks are super low compared to what they felt like they've done, but all it is is just a typo. So just be cognizant of that when you're going through. Step four, create a query that joins the members table and the clubs table. Include the club name field from the clubs table. Okay, so we're gonna first create a new query and it is gonna be from the members and clubs field. Just so I can see where that line was creating the, okay, so it's club ID, I see. I'm going to bring down club name from the clubs table and first name, last name, and state from the members. So first name, last name, and state from the members table. Sort the records in ascending order by the club name. So here's the club name and here's my sort section. And I go ascending. Save it using clubs dash members as the query name. So I'm gonna go boop and save. and close. I always close my tables to make sure there's nothing open. Uh, otherwise, in the end, I'm left with a bunch of tables open and I can't remember if I did what I needed to and saved what I needed to have saved. If you have, if you end up at the end of your project with a bunch of tables and queries open, just right click and save everything before you close it. Step five, open the SC members query and find all members who belong to the club with a club ID of C01 and who reside in South Carolina SC save the query. So this one we're going to go to design view and I'm going to go to club ID and in the criteria I'm going to type in C that's a zero and a one and then when I run it I have just found all members that are a C01 club ID. Oh, whoops, and who reside in South Carolina. So I just did that quickly without looking at South Carolina. As you can see, there's a bunch here from North Carolina. So that's not right. We're going to have to go back to design view. And in the state, it says, and who reside in. So I'm going to do it in tandem with the C01 so it returns the records that have both in that record. So we go SC and no. I hit enter which took the default this one. So I'm going to click outside. And now when I run it, I get two. That's what I need. So I'm going to save that cuz it's already been created. I don't need to change the name and close it. Okay. Step six, open the members swimmers query and change the join properties so that all members are included in the query results. Sort the query in ascending order by level ID and save. Join properties, which means we need to look at the relationship between these two tables and then double click. And we need to include our including all records. Okay, so um, we are going to join properties so that all members are included. So members, all records from the members. Okay, so we're going to save and run. Close it down. Step six. Is six right? No, seven. Step seven. Import the support swim strokes file into the swim strokes table. Do not save the import steps. So swim strokes table, external data, new data source from file, Excel. And import the core import the current oh my goodness. Import the source data into a new table in the current database. 
we are going to append it to the swim strokes because they, they say import the file into the swim strokes table. So we are going to find the file now. And of course, as soon as you put it in, it's in your downloads. So swim strokes. Okay. Next. Oops, finish. And I don't want to save the import step, so I'm not going to click that box. Just close it. So the information that I have in the swim strokes Excel file has now been added to my swim strokes table. Step eight. Open the swimmer levels query and move the last name field so that it appears after the swimmer ID. Swimmer levels. So I'm moving last name to the after swimmer ID. So swimmer ID, last name. Find all swimmers who have a level ID of 5 or 6. Sort the records in ascending order by last name and then by first name. Read, okay, change the caption to skill level for the level ID field. So I'm going to click on level ID field here and I'm going to go up to I'm actually going to open this guy up so I can get the proxy sheet. And the caption is going to be found here, which is skill level, capital L. Okay, so now that that's done, just enter and close it down. Save the query. All right, so save it because it was already created so you don't need to make a name for it. Step 9, create a query for the members table that lists all states in ascending order. So members create query design. We're going to double click to get that one over. We're going to close down our add field. Now they want to do state. States in ascending order, each state should appear only once. Okay, so they don't tell you, but each state should appear only once means unique values, which you did on an earlier project. So that's what that means. So we're going to click on our state. We're going to go up to our property sheet. Actually, we're going to click out here because we only have one field. Unique values, meaning you only want to return unique records. Um, I clicked out here to get that property sheet up, property sheet for the whole query. So yes, if I run it, I only get unique states. I don't get every single record that has a L or GA or North Carolina or South Carolina. Um, and we need to save this one with the name unique states. All right saved, close, and now just make sure that it's underscore two. Make sure you save and close any open tables or queries up top, and once it's all closed down, you don't have anything else to save because it's a collection of files inside one big database. Alright, so we will see you on the fifth project.